just a gist of what I do in the morning time so peaceful you gotta try it out. I'm literally about to record for my podcast I drop a podcast every single Sunday if you do want to drop your own podcast since I'm already about to record mine I might as well just tell you guys how to start a podcast and just like little tips or whatever I will be writing my magazine feature as well voyage miami has sent me an email and they want me to be featured on a magazine cover ah, so exciting first thing you want to do when you are starting your podcast come up with a super creative name i decided to do busybody just because i feel like a busybody i feel like i'm always doing something so i felt like i wanted to, um make a platform where i can have women relate and learn something just a part of my purpose on this planet yeah i just listened to todd one of my goals for 2023 is to dedicate two hours a day to christ before i start my day before i start to work and it the sermon today just really resonated in this season of my life right now i'm basing this podcast off what the sermon was today when you have your name you definitely want to go ahead and make an anchor account for the anchor account I'm actually gonna start screen recording right now I reset my whole home screen on here so the first what's on my iPhone my phone is completely different now when you go to anchor okay so this is what you want to do Anchor is actually a platform that releases your podcast to different platforms. So it'll be on Apple Podcasts and all that. So how I found Anchor was listening to other podcasters and they would do like a commercial of Anchor. When you start getting paid from podcasts, 
you can do a little 30 second clip promoting anchor and i noticed that a lot of influencers have done this you do want to press get started when you press get started you're gonna have to go ahead and put your full name email password just regular little stuff you want to do the month of your birthday the day of your birthday the year of your birthday and then you click you know the caption thing and make sure that you're not a robot once you sign up i do have the app on my phone and this is how i record my podcast when i'm about to record um i hit tools i like hold on sometimes it be looking a little different okay this is how it should look when you click library you'll have access to all of your podcasts you do have instrumental sounds that you can add to your podcast that's super cool i haven't used these features so i'm not too sure but on this main page where it says record, this is where you will record your entire podcast. You can edit it, you can clip out little areas and just make it, you know, as interesting as you want to make it. Mine is raw and uncut, so I don't edit. All I do is add music in it. And then you can invite friends to join. So with this feature, I would just send this link to my friend. I had two of my friends join my podcast so far Raymond and Jordan and I would just press copy link and then I'll just send them the link via iMessage and they'll just click it and then it'll take them directly to the room the only thing I don't really like is it'll start recording as soon as they join so just be ready um yeah so when I go ahead and do that I click record and just start talking so now I'm about to do my podcast. So once you do that, I'm gonna walk you through the other process with the other things. So right now I'm gonna record and I'll come back and I'm working on episode 11. So I'll be right back. I'm done recording. This is what she looks like. Now we click add background music. I usually do Compton because it's very relaxing. This is what it sounds like. So then I go ahead and press the plus sign. Now it's going to actually add the instrumental version in with the voice recording that I've done. So this is what it sounds like. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm your hostess, Kendra K, beauty influencer, serial entrepreneur, and podcaster. Welcome back, you guys. I'm so excited to be doing this podcast today. I went to a sermon and I did a full two hour sermon with Michael Todd. Michael Todd is a so that's a little glimpse. If you all like to listen to the entire Busy Body episode called Bamboo Season, episode 11, go ahead and click the link in my description or type in anchor slash Kendra K and you'll be redirected to the exact page of all my episodes now i'm gonna go ahead and save this and name this bamboo season because that's what i'm titling the episode i like to keep it simple and short straight to the point you don't want an extremely long title because <laughs> it's not really going to show like the entire thing so i try to keep it as short and sweet as possible and now it's actually going to process the episode that I just did is like syncing in the audio and stuff so once that is done I'm actually going to schedule it for Sunday I love to pre-record that's just something that I like to do I have so many businesses so I like to get stuff done ahead of time and just schedule it out or whatever sometimes sometimes I don't really feel like recording a podcast like right now it's a little bit late but it's not this is really Friday but whatever I'm gonna let this load and yeah so that's basically how you do your podcast check out my podcast girl when this is done loading i'm gonna show you how to schedule it so i'm actually going to title this bamboo season and edit the episode details so episode title bamboo season and for the description i really come up with it from the top of my head excuse me so um let me go to spotify and see how i have it labeled i actually 
actually deleted Spotify off my phone. But I think I just do Busybody and do the little dash and then get to explaining, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so in bamboo season, let me see my notes that I have. Let me put something about the bamboo. It generally takes a bamboo to shoot 60 days to reach its adult length. After that, it never grows again. Your season of unexpected, unexpected blessings is here, are here. What should I put? Your season of unexpected blessings are set to happen now. Listen, okay. Your season of unexpected blessings, I said, be ready. There we go. Season two, episode 11. I'm doing 10 episodes from once each season. So this is season two, episode 11. Coverage date, was the day on Sunday, January 8th, and I released at 6 p.m. I'm kind of tentative with the time. Not sure why I did 6. I should do it in the morning time, but I feel like my reach is kind of like at night, but I don't know. You guys can let me know if you want me to keep the 6 p.m. time or do like early in the morning type of thing. So that is how that looks with this. I have my image set. You should be able to add your image and all that on anchor.fm when you make your account. That's super easy. I made my cover art on Canva and I got the actual image of the body like on Pinterest or something and I found the font that I wanted. I love this simple minimalistic type of font. And that's how I went ahead and did that. Actually, it's 12-12 right now. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, God is so good. Now for this magazine feature, guys. I am in a magazine online, globally known magazine in Miami. All the entrepreneurs that are recognized are on there. And I got pitched to do mine. And I'm about to respond to it and do my interview. So we're gonna go ahead and log in on my computer. Ooh, sometimes I do work on my computer and sometimes I do work on my desktop. But today we're gonna do it on here just because it's something really simple. I usually do editing on my desktop. I try to switch between what I'm using. Actually in my Kendra's Collections email. I have a separate email and the person from Voyage Miami, they wrote me from here. So exciting. Her name is Jessica Ramirez and she said, hi Kendra, how are you doing? Hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy. We're interviewing local entrepreneurs, creatives, and community leaders for Voyage MIA's inspiring story series and we would love to feature you. Let me know if you're interested. We'll love to get in front of our readers again. Thanks, Jessica. And I responded, and now I'm gonna go ahead and write in my stuff. So right now it is a questionnaire, and I send in details. Go ahead and sign in. Okay, here we go. The first question that I was asked by Jessica is, oh wait, it's continuing what I've done. The first question that was asked was, walk us through your story on how you started and where you got to where you are today. I responded, I'm trying to make it as like an in-person type of interview as possible. I've been an entrepreneur since 2019. I've accumulated over 8,000 followers on IG from posting fashion and beauty related content. I can say the jump off of my influencer journey began from here. I grew very fast on Instagram simply by being myself and posting nice pictures. I decided to create a brand of my own. I have a passion for beauty. I feel empowered and I want other women to feel the same. 
past that. <laughs> Has it been a smooth road? If not, what are some struggles along the way? So I'm gonna go ahead and type in some of these questions and I'm gonna review the answers with y'all. Alright guys, so I'm wrapping it up. Now I'm putting my contact details. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide my website. Kenneth's collection is Yano Boutique. And email, I'm gonna put promo by Ken. Cause this is like a personal type of interview. Less of KC, more of me. So for Instagram URL, I'm gonna go to um Dolly Ken K. And usually I just type in Dolly Ken K and just copy and paste the desktop version. That's how you get that URL. And then I have all my links on my page, on my magic link. So I'm actually just going to click what I have. I had to do a TikTok of this, okay? Because content is content. Content is content. So I'm going to get my hands in there real cute. And I got to put this on the tripod so I can record myself over here. So I gotta take off the camera off here and put the actual phone holder.
cute, right? All right, boo, boo, boo. Then we gonna submit. Ah! I usually keep my tripod stuff in here. It just makes sense. This bag came with my newer light. I have my ring lights, the like a warm tone. Usually, like right now, this would be like a warm tone. If you want details on that, I'll let you know. I keep all of my, I keep all of my cords in here. So like for my newer light and all that, I will keep them in here and I wrap it up to try to keep it as neat as possible. But sometimes it gets very messy and that's just something out of control. And I got this battery charger. This is an extra USB-C more ring light stuff my computer charger that's all messed up this tripod i don't know i got mixed emotions about this tripod and the lighting to keep your viewers engaged so i'm gonna do two maybe one depending on how it looks okay. do white tone cool tone because Stack y'all on here. Cause y'all need some height, okay? You remember how I said I was gonna show like like an unboxing in here? But you guys are sitting on here, so it's like, what the heck can I do? Um, would y'all mind if I put y'all on one bag instead of two? Cause I kinda wanna show what's in one of my bags on here for the TikTok video. It's me doing this with one hand. <laughs> okay. Um, this one's kind of boring. Now I shall do my hair. Where did my camera's dying? So you guys are going to have to like, you know, you guys can't see everything, okay? <laughs> I'm digging in my white bag that I always dying. So I'm gonna curl my hair. I'm gonna do some wand curls with this wand curler that Noella got me back in middle school. I'm gonna curl it and I'm gonna make a short. So when you see the short, make sure you like it and shop my lip gloss. Pucker up, camera's about to die. Thank you for watching. Shop pucker up, shop pucker up, shop pucker up. Okay, look. Link in bio. Cap cut, new project. Add that in there, and then I'll do like all the transitions, and all that. See, this is a two minute video. Usually, when I export, I'll do like a 20 to 30 second video. And I use overlay if I wanna do my logo. Audio, I'll extract an audio from TikTok, which I'm probably gonna do as like a marketing strategy. Create my own audio and then rename it. That's a really good marketing strategy. So you'll just put add audio and then you'll click extract it, right? So I'll probably do like 0 0.2 seconds of one like for this, probably so I get it straight to the point, just show the bag. But in the beginning, I don't like to do too much. So we're gonna cut that. We're gonna show the inside. Show the inside, delete. So that's what that looks like. Straight to the point. And then I gotta mute it. So all that unraveling, all that, I'm gonna skip that part. Skip. And of course I'm gonna mute, cause I'm over here smacking. So let me mute it from now. First thing you wanna do is mute it for sure. And if you forgot to mute, you just zoom in with your two fingers. And So it'll be muted. 
this is not muted. Okay. And y'all get the gist. I have a full video of me showing you guys how to edit. So, yeah. I'm just going to finish this interview, submit my pictures in, and respond to Jessica, and finish editing this so you guys know what the heck I be doing every freaking day. For all PR, you can send me an email, promo by Ken, for serious inquiries only. And I will see you guys in the next behind the scenes of my Dolly Bosses. Be sure you subscribe right now. You don't miss out on nothing because I'm dropping gems. And if you have your business, congrats, girl. Go ahead and support your girl, Kendra's Collections, Busy Body on Spotify, Barbecue Barbie. And of course, you can't forget about Dolly Bosses on Instagram. I dedicated a whole page to y'all for motivation. So I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> Shaking it off.